Hallå Luken och hjärtligt välkommen till en ny episode B F1 23 Port F1 23 eh, Breaking Point 2. <laughs> Beklagar det. I förra episode så skrattade jag tror det mycket. Jag syns som Devin Butler och han började att få problem medan han körde och hamnat väldigt långt bak. Så ja, det kanske är er sånt det är er, egentligen att uh, at bilen han körde på har problem med bremsen, slik att han får hemsa på hårt och bremsen blir överpetad. Så kanske det är er grund till att jag inte klarade och att jag att jag gjorde så dåligt så kanske det är er det som är er poängen egentligen. Ja ja, men sån det är er ju sånt det är er sånt det är er i uh, spelkoden då. <laughs> Okej. Okay. Da er det bare å kjøre på. Vi skal videre til uh, kapitel nummer 9. Ja, kapitel nummer 9. No, it's a, well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devin's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fate. Which... I thought was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal, and he gave the exact the same excuse. Ja. Det er en skilde på Kams, men det er egentlig ikke sant, altså. Nå har vi kommet til Emilie og Magna Grand Prix. With two races in as many years now and packed up by communication issues involving Devon, Chrono Sport Management have started to ask questions. As the grid heads to Imola, Caswell, Caswell looks for clarity from his driver. Yeah. He wanted to see me. Ah, there he is. Very difficult man to pin down. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are we talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork. So I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. Okay. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure. Paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying. Right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh... It's making me second-guess myself. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the... the team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. <laughs> Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine. I'm shaking pep talk. Skal vi se. Vi har ikke bit enda da. Så skal vi se. Har du en ny nyhet her da? Familieaffære. Mhm. Hva er det Ja. Mhm. Vi ser på sosiale medier. Ja, ja, ja. Det er ikke så mye skrytt av her. Ja. Mhm. Ja, er det mye om, mye om... Ja. Det er snakk om det er snakk om det dårlige resultatet til Devon i i forrige kapitel da. I Australia. Så det hopper litt fremover og noen løp da som ikke er så interessant, som ikke er interessant i det hele tatt. Så det er kunstig. 
emails in the view. <laughs> ah, what about Casper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go there. Yeah, so it's my bit of a you look at that. Okay, talk to me about it again. Feeling the pressure mount, Devon hopes a strong performance while diverting the team's attention from any concerns about his health. Okay, here we go! Okay, okay well, object that. Right. Sure, fine. fine, just leave me to it, yeah? Ja, nå ser jeg at uh, Devon er faktisk nede på en 16. plass, og det ser ikke bra ut i det hele tatt. Han blir forbikjørt av uh, Ante Astri. Skal jeg prøve å komme her forbi uh, Sargent. Nein, what is it? Alright, I'll hold my back up for a hold my back up. Okay, I'll go on for the other side there. Alright, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 2.1 seconds. Here is a little bit of a midas for when I'm going to drive a lot of petal. When it's not a chicane, it's a bit of a cool thing. When I'm going to swing a lot to the left or the right, it's quite hard. On homecontrol, it's not so bad. When I'm going to drive a lot of petal, it's quite difficult. What a mess! Devon Butler, with that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that too many times. We want to see him out of the car, though. That's good news. Big relief there. Although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet, Crofty. Well, thumbs up to the crowd, but I'd imagine after that, he'll be quite shaken. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. 
What can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. <sighs> but uh, five years in F1, can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get a chance, so. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You ask anyone. How did you feel when Devon left? How did I feel? Yeah. Nu er Devin ute av, nu er Devin ute av teamen da. Siden det vi skal ha at det er en del problem med hørselen hans, siden han ikke klarte å høre på hva skjedesingeniøren hans hører, hør, sa. Ok, den er noe helt annet her. The Butler Estate UK. Ok. With Devin's sudden retirement, the team at Connellsport are forced to scramble an attempt to find a driver who can replace his performance on track. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we'd stop. The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, Devon. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... Just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. Oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'd be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. You know she deserves it. The daughter. You took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? The contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Ja, ja. Ta med Cam, ta med Kelly med da. Datteren, datteren altså, og så søsteren til Devin. Nå er det spannende, skal han på de? Skal vi se. The F1 calendar waits for no one. By Casper and Andrea works to secure a permanent replacement for Devon. The team must turn his attention to the Spanish Grand Prix. Yeah, I too, we feel about that. Yeah. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, that one got net for good of you to Devon. That's a party pun yet, okay? Uh, what if we have it to Devon? Yeah. What? Andreo? Andreo? Have you spoken to her yet? Uh, yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for you. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, when you're the one that knows her, just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Corisport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. 
could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. Yeah, get out of there. Sure, sure. Yes, I can cast both tall Cali and them. Dette kommer til å bli skikkelig overrasket seg her. Jeg har fått e-post fra henne, og tror hun har akkurat landet. Hva er det fra Andrew? Ja, og så er det fra Zoe. Det er kona til Casper. Ja. Ok, vi får vente og se hva neste kapittel byr på. Det er kapittel 10 neste gang. Så da er det unna her. Tusen takk for at du så på denne episoden med F1-23 Breaking Point 2. Trykk gjerne like på videoen, og så bare abonner deg hvis du er ny. Så ses vi til en annen video. Vi ses!